Hey guys, <coughs> Woo. as soon as I go live, I start coughing. <clears throat> it's Dwayne Huff with Write Your Own Ticket. And uh, today I wanna to talk about one of the biggest challenges that you will face as you start, develop, build, and grow your own business, especially doing something you're passionate about, something you love. And before I jump in there, before I forget, if you want a fast start the right way and a roadmap, run over to www.yotbook.com. Or if you'd like my help personally, reach out to me, drop a comment, or send me a message, and we can talk about how we can work together to make that happen quickly. Doesn't have to take forever. So here's the biggest challenge, one of the biggest challenges that you're going to face in trying to build and grow a business. <clears throat> for those of you who don't know me, um, I've been an entrepreneur for 10 years. I started out in sales 14 years, got a uh, background and a degree in music, didn't know what I wanted to do, launched into sales reluctantly, worked out, was a good fit for me, but I had an itch and a burn in my gut to go out and be a professional speaker, trainer, and coach. Stepped out 10 years ago with one client, six months promised to me, nothing after that, and here we are 10 years later. So I've been an employee. I've been a part-time employee, a full-time employee, a contract employee. I've been a transition employee. I've been a hybrid career where I did multiple things. And I finally got to do the thing that I love the most. I turned my passion into my profession and started doing work I love on my own terms which was a risky proposition, but it uh, worked out. Now, today, uh, my business is I train, I do corporate training, uh, I do coaching, consulting to small, medium, and large size companies, and I have a brand called bandleadershipseminars.com. I don't say that to impress you, but to impress upon you that what I'm gonna share with you today comes from my own personal experience um, and the experience of those that I work with and have seen over time. I've studied this stuff since I was 15 years old in leadership. Anyway, so, it, but the bottom line here is the thing that's going to be the most difficult or one of the most difficult things that you're going to have to do if you're going to start, build, and grow a business is you're going to have to unlearn the stupid stuff you were taught in high school, college, and the real world about this following thing. Now, I have, I have some good news. Even if you went to college, you can be successful. <laughs> I need to write a book, How to Succeed Even If You Went to College. Um, I, I'm, I'm down on college. You know, I, I got a college degree, and I'm very thankful for it. It opened some doors for me, but um, college isn't what it used to be. It's a cesspool of mediocrity unless you go to law school or doctor or lawyer or something that actually needs it. I, I, think, um, I think our money is being wasted and spent unnecessarily and we're being locked into debt for no reason uh, whenever if you can hustle if you can sell if you can serve and if you have people skills or at least good skills with people you will succeed and you do not need a college degree but I digress that's not what this is about but it is about that to the extent that we're gonna have to unlearn some stupid stuff that we think uh, that we were taught number one you got to go to college and get a good education to be successful whenever I was going to college uh, my band director used to tell me, or my saxophone teacher used to say, hey man, where are you coming to school for? I said, uh, music, performance, jazz. He says, well, let me give you an, a little clue here, buddy. Um, it, just because you get a degree in music doesn't mean you can play. And he was right. <laughs> I can play, but I mean, a degree was not going to give me. Same thing with business. I, I laughed at a friend of mine who went into business school because I knew he was going to come out and he was not going to be a successful because business school does not teach you how to run a business. The only way you become an entrepreneur is you get mentorship, you get out there, you learn, and you do it the hard way. Business school is not going to teach you how to run a business. Never, never has, never will. You got professors in there that may have run a business, but why in the hell are they in the college teaching? Most of them don't know what the hell they're talking about. Again, I digress. College is a waste of time um, in, in most instances. But we got to unlearn stuff that we learned in college, and that's one of them. You don't need a college degree to be successful, unless you're gonna be a doctor, lawyer, I, I, et cetera. So that's number one. Number two, get a good education, which I believe is, yes, absolutely important. It's just not, I don't believe it's a traditional education, so we don't have to unlearn that. You're constantly gonna to have to be educating yourself. It never ends. So that's why I tell you to do something you're passionate about and something you love, because you're gonna spend well, I'll put it to you this way. I had a mentor of mine tell me one time, I was in a, uh, this was years ago, I was in a network marketing group and I admired this guy and he said, let me be, just be honest with you guys. You're going to, if you're gonna be successful in this, you're gonna work just as hard, probably harder, than you would if you were just in a nine to five job. So if you don't love this and this isn't your passion, go find a job and do it because you're gonna have less stress, less headache, less time spent, and you're probably going to make more money. And that really resonated with me because it encouraged me to go in my own direction. I was very thankful for that experience. 
but this is going to take work. However, with technology and the opportunities and the leverage that we have with social media, it's not necessary to grind for 40 plus hours a week, 60, 70, 80 hours a week. Like some people are doing a corporate job, killing themselves and not having the work-life balance. That's not necessary. I and many other people I can point to and will point to in my book, as a matter of fact, wyotbook.com, go grab a copy of it, um, that are doing this, we're working. We're working hard. But I'll give you my example. For the last 10 years, part-time effort by anybody's standards. My wife will tell you it makes her sick. Part-time effort, full-time income. Full-time income by anyone's standards, right? And I don't say that to impress you or brag. It's just the way that it is. So we don't have to grind it out 40 plus hours a week to make a living. That's a lie. Now, if you go to a job, they're going to hold you to that unless, and it's becoming more and more like this, unless you go to a job that measures you by results, gives you autonomy, freedom, come and go as you want. Those are becoming more and more. And if you, if you like that sort of thing, one of the options might be to become a contract employee for a company. You don't get the benefits, but you don't work the hours. You get paid a whole lot more. And then you step into entrepreneurship. About to lose my light here, so I'll keep going here. So you have to unlearn that. It doesn't have to be the nine to five job. You don't have to work for somebody else. Another thing you gotta unlearn is a business, a successful business, has to be a brick and mortar business. Does not. It can be an online business. It can be a lifestyle business. Um, I'll give you an example. I'm here at my karate studio. There's a young lady who, uh, who's a fitness trainer. She goes to a brick and mortar business. I do whenever I train, but she doesn't have to have a brick and mortar business. She makes a great living, takes care of her kid. Um, there's so many different options and there's nothing under the sun that you can think of right now that you can't find enough people to support to make a great living. Am I saying you're going to make six figures? You may, depending on what you want. But what if you made 50,000, 60,000, 50,000, 60,000 extra on top of what you're doing now? What kind of margin and opportunity would that create in your life? So you don't need an education to succeed, especially in business. You don't need to work uh, 60 plus hours a week. Now, I'll be honest with you. There are some times where I grind it out till the wee hours of the morning because I'm having fun. There's another thing we need to unlearn. Work doesn't have to be boring. It doesn't have to be a drag. We don't have to dread it. Work is fulfilling. We were created to be fulfilled in our work. So unlearn that real quick. You can have fun. You can do something you're passionate about. Make a great living doing it. And... Um, Make a good go of it and have balance and time for your family. The only thing I'm striving for next is I want to be able to have more money, which means I'll probably need to work a little bit harder and more consistently uh, so that I can have some options of uh, more freedom of location. I can pretty much come and go as I want. My wife still has a job, uh, and so she can't come with me. And uh, we have small children, so I can't just abandon her to do that. Uh, but boy, whenever t when those kids grow up and they're uh, uh, in college and we're empty nesters, yes, they'll probably go to college <laughs> um, because one of them wants to be a lawyer. And, and if they don't, if they want to be entrepreneurs or if they want to be tradespeople, more power to them. I, I'm hoping, I read an article the other day that said in 10 years, half the colleges will be gone and I hope that's the case. They need to go the way of the dinosaur because they're useless. They're robbing people, lying to people and stealing their money unless Dr. Lawyer uh, accountant, whatever, whatever it is, you know what I mean, right? I'll never, I'll never fall in love with college. I promise you. Um, very thankful that I have a college degree. It opened some doors. It got me where I am today, but it's different. Back then, there was some value there. Um, but um, realize as you go into that, the hardest things, the biggest obstacles that you're going to face are the things that you have to unlearn. And if I can be of assistance to you, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Drop a comment. Leave a question. If you disagree with me on something, please, please, please drop it in the comments. Let's talk about it. Um, if you'd like my help personally, reach out to me, drop a comment, or send me a message. And we can talk about how you and I can work together. I can be your mentor and your coach if you'd like that. I can cut uh, years and thousands of dollars off of your journey. It took me four and a half years to go from what I wanted to do to actually doing it because I tried to reinvent the wheel and I wasted a lot of money uh, bought a lot of crap from a bunch of charlatans and uh, whenever I fell down I wouldn't get back up one of the things we've got to learn is failure is not a bad thing it's a good thing and the faster we fail the faster we learn the faster we learn and that we iterate and put it back out there the faster we're gonna succeed and if I can be your mentor and encouragement in that reach out to me uh, if nothing else if you're serious 
about changing the game, uh, writing your own ticket, turn your passion into your profession, doing work you love on your own terms, run over to www.writeyourownticketbook.com <laughs> www. or if you are lazy like I am, I shortened it for you. It's www.wyotbook.com, the initials of the book. So remember, you can write your own ticket. It's time to make a decision. It's your time. There's never going, the ducks are not going to be, I don't even have ducks, I have squirrels. <laughs> Squirrel. Um, but your ducks are never going to be in a row. It's never going to be a good time. And here's what I'm going to tell you. If you do not live your dream, somebody else will. In fact, tonight, go Google it. Whatever it is you're passionate about, and look, there's 10 people out there right now doing what you say is impossible, and it's your time. Go get them. If I can be of help, run over www.wyotbook.com and reach out to me, and we can talk about how we can work together. Hope you enjoyed this. Stay tuned. Like the page, and if you like these, when I say go live, hey, share this with somebody. I mean, if you really like this, give me a, a, a heart or a wow, or send this to a friend and say, man, this dude is crazy, but I think he's on to something. Have a good night. Write your own ticket. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.